まず攻撃値のゾーンですがシュートを打つか別の選手にボールを外すかを指定しますストライカーでない選手でゾーンに入った場合後から走り込んでくるシュート力の高いストライカーにパスをする方が望ましいということになります Yo, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be reacting to Inazuma 11. I do not know the title because it's all in Japanese, but it's gameplay of the game Inazuma 11 Victory Row. Why am I talking this fast? Well, I actually don't know because I'm on speed dial. But before we get into the video, please leave a like. Why? Because if you leave a like, I will be the first one to congratulate you because you win a million dollars. Stop the cap. <laughs> don't quote me on that one, but. <laughs> Let's just basically take a look at the. There is absolutely no English. We only have this. Bear with me. Uh, but I will translate everything that this man is saying. Stop the cap. Okay, so my guessing is was correct. Like, that is the blocking pass. If you don't want to actually break through, you could just basically pass it, which is. Okay. Break. That was really tight in the corner right there. Okay. Pass to Tenma. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's Etsu's. Okay, these are the, the skills. Alright, alright. Animation is up there, which is good. The most important part of this entire video is the actual animations of the Isetsus. And once you break it, actually hires something. That little bar right there, it hires like, I don't know if it's, what type of gauge is that? TG, TG what? Pass or keep? Okay. So the timing, if you're basically playing with a player, at that point, it will be... Your timing against his timing, I believe. <laughs> now it makes sense why they didn't put this in English. There's too much information in such a short amount of time. You will get brain freaking farts. Okay, so this is the only ability that he can do or just not ability but an option. So it has to do with timing, which is pretty much, well, timing is not luck. It's not based on luck. Timing, power, positioning as well. One, two. If you have the defenders there. Bruh. So there's a lot of counters to everything that you do. Like, you can be... Like, yeah, you have to basically pay attention to everything in the actual field. Because you can have guards. Okay, I get it. So you can only guard if you're in the actual zone to guard. Wait. So, okay, I thought the video was about to end. And yes, I am talking over him because... Do you speak Japanese? Do you understand what he's saying? Otherwise, tell me in the comment section, please, for the love of Christ, because I'm not getting anything. Keeper gauge. I think this is the same thing as every single one of the Inazuma 11 games. You got the Nintendo ones that you have to shoot a bunch of times until they get their hands, like, um, hurt, right? On the Nintendo ones, the gauge goes higher, and only on Inazuma 11 go and higher. I believe that's the only Thing that they have and on in Azuma 11 strikers they have they don't have this they just have the bar the tp bar tp means the it's the, uh, the bar for using abilities in this case it's like how much can you restrain the goalkeeper's hands so with normal shots with abilities so if you constantly shoot you'll be able to actually score but if you already played in Azuma 11 you already know this right this is what is actually gonna show up and thank you yuki for giving me this uh otherwise i wouldn't be able to see what is going on day 24 of this month they a hundred percent will give us some sauce and by sauce i mean the time frame because god 